Check out our new DIY show. Link is below. Hey everyone, today we're at my friend's Sugar Shack. This is a community sugar shack. It's a bunch of neighbors that got together and took an old sugar shack that was at a friend's farm and they kind of fixed it up. And all the kids come, they gather up all the syrup and then they come here and they cook down the sap on the weekends. And my friend Shelly, who's one of the group, is running the camera. Hi Shelly. Hi. So this is very cool. What I really like about this is again, it's a group getting together and it's using something, this technology that's totally existing and making really great food because it's then you have maple syrup all year is that right we do i still have a little bit left from last year I'm yeah. waiting for the next crowd so how this works is that they use uh traditional sap buckets you know some people use the lines and things like that they drop them into the uh, tanks outside and then they have a piping system that's gravity fed that comes into, this is called the evaporator here, this big thing. It comes in at the top. So our sap comes in here, runs through this channel, and then through this pipe, and it's preheated that way before it gets into the evaporator itself. This is the initial, I think you'd maybe call it the first phase, I'm sure there's a word for it, but you boil off most of the water out of the sap here, then it moves into the finishing tray here, And then at the bottom here, they have a temperature gauge and a tap, and they use a hydrometer, and they make syrup. They have a bunch of scrap wood. This is all wood fired. And it's, again, scrap wood that wasn't, isn't gonna be used for something else. It's a beautiful thing. Am I leaving anything out, Shelly? Not a thing. Oh, Jackie. Yes. So we have a little sample here. This is, you just poured this off, didn't you? We did. That's amazing. That's so cool to be out in the woods. The best you've ever tasted. <laughs> so good. I mean, you just, you know right where, it, right from the trees, right to here. That's right. If you live in the northern climes, in sugar maples, you can do this on a smaller scale. I'm going to try and do this next year. I'm going to get some buckets and I'm going to try it with one of those uh, deep fried chicken propane things and we'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you for inviting me. It was very nice of you to run Anytime. the camera. So, a lot of fun. All right, more cool stuff on our site. You can learn about this and other stuff at gardenfork.tv.